All right, y'all. What is going on, man? Look, we are here as a request, and we're here to talk about lust. Now, for y'all that, um, you know, y'all been around for a while, y'all know we like to do a lot of spiritual videos on this channel as well. You know, outside of doing the videos where, you know, I have clips and, you know, it's about the industry and, you know, um, all the things that go on in this wicked world that we live in we like to get the spiritual videos done as well you know because at the end of the day it's most important to be able to navigate through your life and have discernment of the things that are going on around you especially when it comes to the people in your life you know um and what you choose to pitch your attention on you know because the things that you're doing Every day, the things that take up your most, um, the things that take up most of your time, people that take up all of your time, you have to be aware of what is actually going on, you know, and you have to be able to discern it spiritually. So um, I appreciate the person that requested me to do the video about lust because this is this is a very important topic. And, you know, a lot of people, you know, you have an idea of what lust is. Most people, you know what lust is because it's it's a pretty simple saying of, you know, people just like, oh, you know, this is not really something true. We're just lusting over each other. Um, you know, you find yourself mostly looking at someone for how they look, not really, you know, you're not really worried about how this person thinks, getting to know them, you're just more attracted to their looks, to their body. As a man, you're attracted to the way she walks. You're attracted to, you know, um, her seduction in a sense. Women, same thing to a man. You're attracted to his body. You're attracted to the way that he talks, the way that he sounds, the way that he could, you know, um, tell you something and it just... It's exactly what you want to hear. You know, it's what you want to hear. It's not what you need to hear. Um, so those are all examples of lust. But the spirit of lust runs a lot deeper than just attraction. Now, don't get me wrong. This is kind of like, you know, it's kind of like the source of where the spirit likes to play in your mind because the spirit of lust operates in the brain. The spirit of lust uses you and anyone you come across. When you have that spirit of lust inside of you, when you have that spirit of lust operating inside of you, you will attract those same kind of people. Now, that goes for a man and a woman. If, if a woman carries that spirit of lust, she will attract a man that has that same spirit of lust. Now, mostly these two spirits are the succubus and the incubus spirit. We all know these are sexual spirits. The succubus is for a man. When a man is asleep and you have a dream about sex, or you have a dream where you're actually having sex in that dream, that is a spirit basically hosting a woman. Most of the time, I've said this before in a video, most of the time you don't see the face. Most of the time when you're having sex in your dream, you usually don't see the face. It, it depends. It's not all the time. You know, sometimes you will see the face, but it's not it's not the actual person. It's literally the spirit having sex with you, literally. And um, it's the same for women. It's the same for women. When when a woman has sex in her dream, it's the incubus spirit. It's, uh, you know, um, this spirit has basically possessed the body in your dream. And it's having sex with you. And... We open up these we open up to these spirits just how you would almost open up to any other spirit. You invite the spirit into your life by the things that you choose to do and pay attention to. 
if you choose to masturbate, watch porn, if you choose to constantly have unprotected sex or um, you're just out here having sex with anybody, these are the ways that you invite these spirits. Doing drugs, drinking alcohol. There are multiple ways to invite the spirits of lust. And what the spirit does, it, it uses seduction it uses seduction to its advantage. And that's how it keeps you in the cycle. That's why a man can't stop masturbating. That's why a man can't stop watching pornos. It's the same for women. I'm just I'm just a saying a man just because, you know, I'm a man, so it just that's what comes first. But this is this is the same for women. You know, women that masturbate all the time, women that watch um pornos etc. It's the same it goes hand in hand for both genders. But how the spirit chooses to use you, like I said, you will always attract someone when you have that you, first off, you'll know when you have that spirit of lust inside of you. You'll know off back. Right now, if you have that spirit in you, you know you just may not be able to quite tackle it. You may not be able to, to admit it to yourself, but if you are constantly you know, if you're constantly looking at women in a state of like, you know, damn, she fine. Damn, I want to have sex with her. Damn, look at her ass. Damn, look at this. Damn, damn. If it's every day and it's like uncontrollable, you know, as soon as you see a woman, you just like, damn. You know, you just every single time. It's like it's it's not you're not looking at the woman just for being, you know, it's just a woman. It's just, you know, it, it's it's always something that you think looks good on her. Her walk looks good. Her body looks good. That is the spirit of lust. You literally can't focus on anything else about the woman. All you're focused on is how she looks, how her ass looks, how her body looks. You can't. The spirit does not allow you to think about anything else. Focus on anything else. And that's why relationships with the woman that you chose to go out there of because she looked good. That's why it ends up not working. And it's the same for the woman toward the man as well. Most of the time, these marriages, these relationships, they don't work out because it didn't start through God. It didn't start from a place of, you know, you actually genuinely wanting to get to know the woman. It it, it wasn't a foundation through through God, you know. It, it It came from lusting after the woman. And these spirits know... Most people have no idea. You just think it's, this is attraction. You just think this is this is the way, you know, like how the Mandalorian and Star Wars. This is the way, you know, <laughs> you just think. You just think, you know, this is just straight up natural. Now, now, don't get it confused to like being attracted to a woman as a man or a woman to a man. Attraction is different than having that spirit on you. You know, than having the spirit of lust. It's it's completely different. It's not it's not so simple to just being attracted to someone. You'll feel it. Like I said, you will feel when you have the spirit of lust operating inside of you. Also, it's almost, you know, it's it's almost just like any other spirit, and it all goes back to the devil. Because they don't like happy homes. They don't like meaningful relationships. They don't like marriage. They don't like real love. So they will always, you know, they will always point you in a direction where it keeps you away from something real. You know, you may think, you know, the the connection you had with someone was based off of something real. You may think y'all had a bunch of things in common, but guess what? guess what a lot of the times when you think you have things in common with a woman or you think you have things in common with a man and you know there's certain things that y'all are connected on you like damn you know we do got this in common or like damn you know we we did the same thing today without even really knowing it you know before y'all really even knew each other y'all did a few things that matched each other this and that guess what the connection really was 
It was the spirit. It was the spirit of lust. And that's how it'll get you. What did I tell you in the beginning of the video? You will always attract, when you have the spirit of lust in you, you will always attract another woman with that same spirit. Same for a woman. You will attract a man who also has a spirit of lust. And those things you thought you had in common was just the two spirits that operate inside of you. And they made y'all think you had a bunch of things in common because y'all are basically connected. No, not in a good way. You're not connected in a good way. You're both operating the same spirit inside of you. So it gives you like this fake, you know, um, it, it gives you these like fake feelings of having a connection with someone. But really, at the end of the day, this is just the spirits connecting both of y'all, making you think that there is a connection. There is a lot of things we have in common, but I will say it again. It is just the spirit that operates inside of both of y'all. Now, this is not to say that there aren't natural connections where you actually do have things in common with a person. I'm not, you know, I'm not talking about every single case because not everyone has these spirits that are operating inside of them. So, of course, you can, you know, you can easily meet someone and you guys have things in common and you end up having a beautiful relationship with each other. But. Also, remember what I said, you know, when you have that spirit inside of you, you know, bro, you know, you know, <laughs> you know, if you are constantly, you know, if sex is always on your mind, if you can't stop jacking off, if you can't stop playing with yourself, you know, the Internet plays a huge factor in it. I probably should have mentioned that long ago, the day and age that we live in. This is another way that these spirits keep you going. They keep you on the path that they want you on. So you never really find your true love, you know, a real relationship. First off, you never have a chance to find Jesus Christ. You never have a chance to find God because you, you, you can't, you know, you can't find a way and you don't even actually know what's going on. You don't even really know that this spirit is the one that's really controlling all of your moods and your emotions and your attractions, your false attractions. And the internet is a huge problem because that, why do y'all, man, you know, it's like when you really start to pay attention to this kind of stuff, you start to understand why every time you look on Instagram, there's nothing but ass. And I'm talking about for men, you know, and it's the same way for women. You know, every time you look on the internet, it's exactly what you want to see. It's playing right into your mind. Why? Because that spirit operates inside of you. Now, all you can do is, I don't know, maybe start looking at different stuff. So, you know, your Instagram algorithm doesn't ping and, you know, push women towards your feed. I don't know. I don't know. But it's almost no way around it because it's so, you know, it's so thick. It's like so embedded in the apps. Everything you look at. Everything you look at, bro, is is it's nothing but ass. It's nothing but sex. It's shit that keeps your mind in the spirit of lust. That's it. That's all it does. And that shit is damaged to the mind. It's damaged to the brain. That's why I said the spirit operates in the brain. It operates here. It controls your mind. Now, it's okay. It's okay to be attracted to a woman you know, and, and it's okay to be attracted to a man as a woman. But like I said, I said again, you know, when you have that spirit on you and you really have to pray, you know, you have to rebuke the spirit. You have to say Jesus name, pray to God for strength, say his name, use his name, use Jesus name. It's, it's the most powerful name that there is. Use it and the spirit will get up out of there. First off, you need to stop doing the things that you do that you know are lustful, that you know you're doing in lust. You should stop doing those things, you know, and if you can't, just continue to pray on it. Continue to ask for the strength to remove these spirits.
And of course, if you're having sex in your dreams, you already know the spirit is 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 in you. And it's not, you know, it's not it's not like oh you're possessed you're possessed by the spirit. It's not that. It's not. It, it's a spiritual thing. It's controlling your emotions and your attractions. So it's not it's not possessing your body. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a it don't. I'm not trying to make it sound like. You know, you're possessed by the spirit. You know, it's not like demon possession. You know what I'm saying? It's just something that operates in your brain. The spirit of lust operate in your thought, your thought patterns. And it has a very keen way of controlling it and connecting you to other spirits that are out here in women and in men. And that is how it brings you to a connection and a relationship that it wants you to be in and thrive in and keep you in a place of, you know, like a continued cycle, you know, um, because from the jump, you know, rather things are meant for you or not. You know, most of the time you're just too weak and you continue through it because you just you just have this false sense of reality that these spirits are creating for you. And our goal is to be able to discern it learn from it, become stronger and, you know, kind of, kind of just learn how to be alone. You know what I'm saying? That's why I did all those videos about the reason why you're alone. Learn how to be alone and you can actually see this stuff coming before it happens. And if it has happened to you, it won't ever happen again because now you know how to put yourself in situations that fit your heart. It matches your energy. And it'll just start to become who you are. You know, you'll, you'll, you'll get into a relationship or a situation that's, that fits you, you know, and y'all can work off of each other. Not something that was created out of lust, created out of sex, created out of a badass attraction. So, um, I thought that was... That was pretty that was that was a good topic to cover because you know regardless of you know re regardless of anything we all fall we all fall to it um and it's something you just have to constantly be aware about you have to constantly preach to yourself and you have to constantly pray on it because you know every day these spirits are lurking and you may be you know, who you are and you're free of this kind of stuff. You're free of these spirits, but they're going to test you. They're going to send a woman your way. That's, you know, got this seductive walk about her because that's also what they do. They they control all of that. It's all from the Marine Kingdom at the end of the day. You know, that, that seduction from a woman, that walk, that look, certain things that attract you are all from the spirits of lust and the marine kingdom. It's it's a deep topic. It's a deep topic because like I said, you can be, you know, as strong as you are and they will still try and attack you and enter into your life, which is why you have to be like they say steadfast in prayer and you have to always continue to ask for that strength and make sure you use Jesus. Christ's name. It's the most powerful. And that's the way that you keep these spirits off of you. So yeah, y'all. Um, with that being said, man, um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. Any other suggestions y'all have for me that are along the lines of, you know, um, you know, I guess just the spiritual type of videos, y'all let me know. Of course, y'all let me know about just any suggestion in general that y'all want me to get to. Of course, I got another video coming for y'all Sunday. I really do appreciate y'all, man. As always, I appreciate y'all support. Appreciate y'all watching all my videos. You know, um, everything that has been, you know, for the past few years, man. Um, I appreciate it. So with that being said, it's Black Balloon and I'm going to see y'all soon. I'm out.